Battery technology can be boring. A breakthrough in separator technology is not going to get the clicks, but if I told you that QuantumScape stock shot up 34% in a single day. Now that I have your attention. You don't have our attention. Money! I'm listening. Clearly, Wall Street took notice of this nerdy announcement. In this video, I'm going to provide a basic overview of their solid state battery technology before getting into the details of Cobra, their latest ceramic separator process that puts them one step closer to battery domination. Generally speaking, a solid state battery is a type of rechargeable battery that uses a solid electrolyte instead of a liquid or gel electrolyte found in lithium ion batteries today. Here's a diagram of a lithium ion battery. Each section of the diagram is a sheet of material put in layers like a lasagna. And according to this influencer, you can actually generate a current from a real lasagna. Let's go right to left. The positive current collector is a thin sheet of aluminum with a cathode active material applied to it. This is where batteries generally get their names from. So if the cathode is lithium iron phosphate, LFP, or nickel manganese cobalt, NMC, or NMCA with aluminum, on the negative side is a thin sheet of copper coated with graphite, that's the anode. Separating the two is a separator with a liquid electrolyte that allows lithium ions to pass through the separator depending on if it's charging or discharging to provide energy. If you replace the liquid electrolyte with a solid material, you have a solid state battery. We Lion and others are in production today with a semi-solid state battery where most of the liquid electrolyte is replaced, but there still is some that remains along with the separator. A liquid electrolyte has some shortcomings. It's flammable, so you don't want to get it too hot. And in cold weather, you know, liquids behave differently. Ice, ice, baby. It's one of the reasons why an EV battery doesn't like extremely cold temperatures. I'm going to keep this part short and none of this should be taken as investment advice. There are lots of companies focused on solid state batteries and you can be sure that the giants making traditional lithium ion batteries today have their own research projects cooking. As I mentioned earlier, semi-solid state batteries are already in production EVs. Neo and Weilion is the best example. China will likely be the first to market with all solid state batteries too. I'm waiting for one of the big names to come to market, not a smaller brand trying to make a name for itself. QuantumScape has some partnerships with big names, and at the end, I'll tell you who they will go into production with. Solid state batteries offer the potential to be safer. I mentioned before that liquid electrolyte is flammable. A solid electrolyte is more stable. This does not guarantee safety. There are design details that need to be taken into account, but there is that promise. Liquid electrolyte batteries can form growths called dendrites that can pierce the separator, leading to a short circuit. It's not good. A solid electrolyte does not exhibit this same failure. And solid electrolyte batteries are not immune to cold temperatures, but they do perform better than a liquid electrolyte. And that's about it. So at this point, you should be asking, wait, I thought solid states were going to supercharge EVs with more power and less weight. That's a good question. Here's the answer. If you want to kick up solid state batteries from better to best, you can replace the graphite anode with a lithium metal anode. That's what QuantumScape wants to do. Changing the anode chemistry significantly increases energy density of the battery. With a liquid electrolyte, a lithium metal anode is wildly impractical as the issue with dendrites will result in failure. But with a solid electrolyte, and a special separator, a lithium metal anode becomes feasible and desirable. Graphite is one of those materials that China has become great at processing, so it's a concern for other countries to be so dependent on them. Solid state batteries with a lithium metal anode like QuantumScape offer better energy density than current batteries, both on a gravimetric or weight basis and on a volumetric or size basis. QuantumScape can be either LFP or NMC chemistry. With either cathode chemistry, the lithium metal anode bumps up the energy density in terms of both mass and size. 
the boost in energy density pushes QuantumScape batteries to the right, and more power for about the same cost drives the dollar per watt hour down. Charging speed can also be improved by eliminating the bottleneck of a traditional lithium ion battery, where the lithium has to diffuse into the carbon of the anode. This is why charging of a traditional lithium ion battery slows as you reach a higher state of charge. Those last few lithium ions have to diffuse and find their place in the anode. They've stated 4C charging for their batteries. That's not a crazy high peak charging rate, but it's far more consistent over the charging curve, and thus the actual time to fully charge is much less. QuantumScape's use of lithium metal anode is referred to as being anode free. This term is, I think it's misleading, as there is an anode side of the battery, but it's manufactured with lithium metal in a discharged state, and it gets formed the first time the battery is charged at the factory, where lithium ions pass through that separator to the anode for the first time. This does result in the battery expanding by up to 15% and subsequently contracting, requiring special design considerations. QuantumScape describes their design as a a hybrid between a pouch and prismatic. There is a rigid frame enclosing the battery with a flexible cover like a pouch format. So QuantumScape leverages the use of a lithium metal anode to be great. This requires a solid electrolyte and a very special solid separator to make it all work. All right, time to get stupid again. Personally, I love it when companies come up with weird names for their internal development projects. A typical lithium ion battery uses a polymer separator between the cathode layer and the anode layer of the battery, allowing lithium ions to pass through when charging or discharging. QuantumScape uses a ceramic separator that is extremely heat resistant. When I think of ceramic, I think of something that is brittle, but ceramic films can be flexible, as is the case here, and extremely thin, only 20 to 40 microns thick, allowing for lithium ions to flow through. Cobra is technically the process for making the ceramic separator, the previous process called Raptor. Cobra offers a 25X improvement in the time it takes for heat treatment, not 25%, 25 times faster, more energy efficient, requiring less floor space in the production facility. This ceramic film, like other ceramics, spends time being baked into their final form. QuantumScape's old Raptor process took a significant leap forward to reducing that time, and now Cobra blows that away. All of these improvements have a financial cost benefit to them, and the Cobra process is less expensive. And this is why QuantumScape stock took off with the announcement. It makes it all seem so much more real, able to scale up in normal sized plants and at affordable costs. And speaking of mass production, last year QuantumScape announced an agreement to license its battery design to PowerCo, who I keep having to remind myself is basically Volkswagen Group. PowerCo is a very ambitious program for Volkswagen. They will start manufacturing their own prismatic battery design in different chemistries with plan to use them across their lineup of vehicles from affordable to premium EVs and plug-in hybrids. They're working towards six gigafactories in Europe and in North America, a plant is being built in Ontario. Well, you know, maybe those plans get delayed by tariffs, but who knows, a delay could allow for QuantumScape to get that production line in the building sooner and charge ahead of all the other companies working to bring solid state batteries to production. China is expected to have solid state batteries in 2027, you know, maybe sooner than that. QuantumScape is saying later this decade. Solid state batteries are coming. It's just a question of when and from whom they'll come from. I'm rooting for them. How about you?